It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control? I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw, uh, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? Uh, he's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your train your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Great. Uh, who's the, uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, I guess she can't hear me. Yeah, I um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a uh, miscount on the way back so we can spend the night. But yeah, we're old friends, embarrassingly old friends. Like, we should have found better people to hang out with by now. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there, or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. Wix to balance some of this out. Alex, we're not taking the pick until you get in here. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Oh, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his...
buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band. So hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. and girls, boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks, I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's... No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny. You know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before? When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Well, how do you think I feel? My house just shrunk by half because my mom decided to get some in Florida. <laughs> no, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Lock this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Ah. <sighs> 
this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It, was sunk it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941. And nervous at the end. Close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually- The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. So to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing, is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impo- It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery. The same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex... I just, if you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it.
Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh... I... Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah, um, that is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen, dear. Aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting... Well, sorry. I accept your apology. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days of the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it, a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking so You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Then it's just a good hitting game. I haven't played this since I was like 10. Can't we do something else? Come on. It's a good way to start out the night. One round, it'll help everybody relax. The booze will do that too. Yeah, let's do it. How do we, uh, kick it off? Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... Okay, that's... Alex, where are you going? Yeah, we just got started. Oh, just, you know, looking around. 
We're not gonna play until you come back. Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. She's cool. She's she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Ren, I don't really feel like playing, if that's all right. Oh, come on! You're pretty much standing in the prayer circle. I'll ease you in with the softball. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun! It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. I'd probably marry Clarissa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why in God's name would you marry me, of all people? What? You're a catch! Redheads are like the rarest breed. She's not a horse. Yeah, but still. <sighs> uh, just to make you mad. And to get half of your stuff in the divorce. Ugh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. Ugh, God, this is such a horrible turn. And wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here, your best friend. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I say. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus... Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. If someone were to ask you to describe me, what would you say? Wow. I'm really swinging for the fences here. I'd tell them you were an average girl with common thoughts. Jeez. Why don't you say what you really think? Actually, to be honest, I expected a lot well, worse. Well, I haven't seen much evidence to the contrary, so... Okay, okay. Let's keep it moving. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it. He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact, oh, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't, I don't really need to know the situation before. It's, it's none of my business. It is your business, your family now. So, let's hear it out. Why did your parents get a divorce, Alex? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure? You know why? Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by ch- No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. 
Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push <laughs> you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... They went so, to that weird the cave. carnival. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. I think you should go f Oh, yeah? Yeah, I agree. I mean, what do you got to lose, right? Well, I guess nothing except for my sense of self-worth. What makes sense to me? Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me! Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Brownies. Brownie Town. No, never mind. That's... Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too, right? Jonas? Mikomita, Sukomita? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. So just pull out your radio. Any day. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they... They're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. Whatever. She never liked me. Not even then. I was always like she had God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It sounds... like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like... Famous last words. Famous last words. I called it. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange dark wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye.
Wait a minute, Jonas. Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Jonas, where are you? Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Huh. Jesus, he scared me. You? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. It's crazy. It's honestly creeping me out. I feel like we're in Satan's underground lair. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but... I mean, it's all just a cave. Just a natural cave. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. How is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Should... Should I stop? No! This is awesome! Wait. Why did you stop? 
We don't even know what that thing is. To find out. Is insane. What? Um, what are you? Listen, Bob Tail. Shame Tail. Sleepy. Time. Time. Down. Is leave possible? I, I, I don't know what you mean. So I can't. Bob Tail. Leave, children. Bye. See you soon. Alex. Alex! Alex! Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were dead for a minute. I'm fine. God. You sure? I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. We can't leave and Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> uh, that would explain why I remember it. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, so if it is. Jonas, what? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid. I'd rob a bank. Maybe that's your Wednesday. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Any equipment it'll have will be, like, 80 years old. I don't know if I trust that. 
Even if it doesn't work, maybe we can get reception on our phones or something. But it's right here, and I want to try it. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. get anyone? I don't think so. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Jesus! Oh man, whoever you are, we really need your help over here. Alex? Alex? Is that you? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff, I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I... I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like Why how did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? Wait, Ren, the line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. No, I... just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of... Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting. Normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. 
and he'd kill me if he fence should be off now. Great, but um don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous.
I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. Genuine forest. With, like, trees. Yeah, it's like, what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. There is a park, but it's part of the woods. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know. Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow, I think. We'll be fine. Trust me. That's all I want to hear. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. I can't believe you even made it. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge with wood and slats? It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's like an army thing, or 
I know there's rules about what you can build on protected land, so maybe this is all it's zoned for or something. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or even on. Maybe there's another way. There has to be. I mean, it's the woods. There's no way to begin with. We make our own. Well, yeah, Jonas, except for when there's a chasm. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. Oh, check out the smallest cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's- Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? I don't know. Monsters? Just monsters? That's your answer? Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Jonas, the bridge ferry looks pretty well and dead, so I don't know how we do this without power. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. Please. I can handle pulling two switches. I really just don't like... I can't think of a way to delicately put this, but... You know what? Fine, it's your barbecue. If you're gonna pull it, you might have... Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... It's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. Let's just try to get the power on, alright? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. this in forever. This is something my mom used to- <laughs> I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Uh, 
Was that there before? Alex, are you all right? It's uh, just a chair, so... Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin, so come on, let's go. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird, 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. What a night, huh? <sighs> yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happens. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. Praise the Lord. 